Hello everybody, I'm Shadow Slayer Rex and I'm back. We're gonna do some rogue stuff. Let's see what deck they gave us. Oh, hopefully it's Swashburglar. It is. It's all random. I love it. I love it so much. Now. Never mind. No. If Shifter Zeris is a different class card in my hand, and I play the Ethereal Peddler, will that minus two stick for when he changes? Because if he does, that's awesome. We might just be able to figure this out. Okay. No, wrong class. Whoa. Mm, don't like you. Really? Really? Whoa. Five damage backstab. Should I save that? Does he play anything bigger? I don't remember. I don't think so. I got Flame Lance. Just keep head cracking him. I wonder if it's that, um, can I trigger it? Oh, I can. When an enemy attacks, alright. I wasn't sure if I could, honestly. Beating the crap out of him! Just with like, I've done 10 damage with head crack. I don't even, I don't know. Ooh, Huxta. Interesting. To the minion, yeah. Okay, well, let's test this out. You want to be greedy? No, let's test this out. All right, so it we see it's worked on Zerus. We want we want Zerus to shift. Yep. Yeah. It's st but it's still the same class. Uh, I want it to become a. Um, I want it to become a neutral. I want full testing. Well. That should be enough. It changed to a completely different class. I think it's going to stick through. Ice Barrier. <laughs> oh, please do... Oh man, you could have killed me by now. Alright, I think we've learned what we need. In the end, you were killed by a card that kept returning to my hand. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I guess I'll have to answer this. Hello? 
Okay, I'm back after that phone call. Turns out it's like a job, um, like a, a job interview for like a, a job closer to home. So instead of driving like 45 minutes to an hour to where I work, it would probably be maximum half hour. Maximum, like that's like I don't take the highway and go and have bad traffic, like you know. But I would take the highway, so I'd get there so damn quick. All right, uh, we're gonna go up against another spite as a druid for the Moonglade portal. Anything goes in one night in care. I wish I could sing. That'd be so sweet. <clears throat> I bet I could with training or whatever if I was younger and like knew what to do and what to you know all that stuff. Um. Ooh, Menagerie Warden. Maybe I should have kept the warden just for fun. For the lulls. So by putting the druid of the flame on the right side, he'd have to hit it quite a bit. Oh. Oh, that's odd. <clears throat> well, next string is just going to hit me twice, so... thinking just innervating Druid of the Claw. I was first I was thinking Druid of the Flame Mark of the Wild. But Sweet. The thing is if you attack it twice, you're taking eight damage. Go for it. <laughs> All right. Can you can you imagine this raptor is being like charged to like have super speed? I guess I should put the should have attacked. Put tiger on the other side. Whatever. Oh. Sorry, another spite. Oh, please kill this. Nope. Yes. We've won. Too easy. Didn't even like really break a sweat. Cool. That's the final card of Karazhan. Oh, all right. Let's look at this uh, collection here. Too easy. There we go. And there's Medius Valet. Ethereal Peddler. Great stats, just but like honestly, awesome. Spirit Claws, Melkazar's Imp, where are you? Uh Ironforge? Is that the new one? Yep. Here's the two drop. Oh, the nether spite historian. Three drop. Who's the three drop? Three drop. Who's the three drop? It's a violet illusionist. Five drop. Who's the five drop? Oh, it's Prince Malkazar himself. Bookworm. Oh, Medivh. Awesome.
clearly custom deck. Just curious, Anne. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's go back. Oh no, we can't fit them all in. All right, who's who's pointless? Uh, no, no, actually, you're not pointless. I meant in my brain, I was thinking of the card I want to take out, and then I can't find it. We have no secrets. Any beasts besides the pantry spider? Well, it's gonna be the worst deck ever. It only has two spells. I guess you get some from Babbling Book, but yeah, interesting. So if I'm going to reflect upon this adventure, I do look at it like very kindly, and uh, it did make me happy. It was a fun jaunt, but was it... Okay, so I would have to say this first wing was really well done, it, and you have to include the initial fight with uh, Melchizedek. So these, all four of these were interesting, different, and fun, right? Like the Silverware Golem, like, you can see how, after the first time you play him, yeah, you see exactly how, the easiest way to beat him, right? But that first time you went up against him, like, yes, you could win with pretty much any deck, but it was very interesting to see how synergetic all his cards were. And the same thing goes for Medivh. His hero power... And some of the custom cards they made for him really made him feel like the strongest mage you, like, ever. Like, you know, like, he really felt like the guardian of Azeroth. Um, the Magic Mirror, um, very interesting fight uh, where you get the doubles. Like, once again, it was one of those fights that, oh, you figured out what it is. And if you came back with uh, a deck designed for him... You would mop the floor with him, but you'd also have fun because you abuse his effect. You know what I mean? And then the chess match was just so well done. It was so crazy fun. But that's kind of where the fun portions kind of started to dwindle because, like, when you did this next wing, it was all nostalgic for me and it was really cool, really fun. But they were pretty easy to beat. I think the most fun was the, the crone with Dorothy. But once again... You didn't need to figure out what was going on because it's like you could bring any deck and win. And then the Menagerie was just a stomp. And even the Spire was a stomp. Like, just too easy. I haven't done Heroic Mode, so I'm going to have another spiel after Heroic Mode's done. Um, so that'll be like one, two, three. So in about four episodes, um, I'll give you my spiel on how I feel the Heroic was. Um, and like what... Because you can, you can, if you look back through my other adventures in the Heroics, how many times did I have to come up with a very crazy strategy and then multiple tries to get it off? Because that was the most efficient way at the time to do it. Because um, a lot of people nowadays can go back to Nax, Blackrock, um, even League with newer cards from Whispers of the Old Gods and stuff. And like, how many times have I gone back to Nax? I mean in my own time, and fight Kel'Thuzad with a deck just to see how it how it st stacks up against hi him, and I've done it against Nefarian, I've done it against uh, Rafam. Um, I mean now I'll probably try using new decks to see if they can beat um, Nazra and Melchizar, which I didn't think was a best ending, like, I think Nefarian had one of the best endings, and the last two fights with Rafam were really cool, where he takes your deck, that was awesome. I thought so. Like, 
it's one of those times where like the AI was like how many times have you wanted an opponent an AI opponent who uses your exact deck um, just to see what strategies they can come up with or how, how good the AI actually is because they're using a um, a deck like I remember there was a Yu-Gi-Oh game I forget which one for I think it was for uh, Advance Game Boy Advance or DS but there was a dude in the bottom corner of enemies you could select and he had some random name and w looked weird but basically he just would mirror your deck and it was always fun seeing what he could do and anyway I wish the innkeeper had a mirror mode that'd be cool anyway um Karazhan it gets a thumbs up it doesn't get two thumbs up um uh, like I th if I remember did did I League of Explorers I'm trying to remember yeah, the last fight with League was fun, and a lot of the final guys, like, Temple Escape was really cool, the the mine thing I really liked, I don't remember this guy that much, oh, yeah, 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 I only remember him because they incorporated him into the final boss, basically, this guy was, this guy was so much fun, Zinar, like, the wishes were great, shut up, I'm talking, um, I hated this dude, but, like, it's because I hated them that it would become a, it became a thing. Um, I, I didn't like this guy so much, but also it was one of those things that you could learn and figure out. Oh my god, how many times did I die to heroic giant fin? And uh, I loved Lady Nastar; she was fun to fight. And then this guy was an RNG fest. This guy was annoying, and then these two were fun. But anyway, Karazhan gets one thumbs up, and I hope. As I say pretty much after every expansion and adventure that I hope they've learned from their mistakes. Like a lot of people had the outcry for Purify, right? So I kind of copied, um, <coughs> excuse me, Kriparian's deck. It was like Purify Priest. Um, the, only, the only card I couldn't fit in because I don't have enough dust. Or I don't know if I want to dust it. Was uh, Ice Howl, so I just replaced it with Rag, and it worked out pretty well. Because um, you can still purify Rag, but you don't have that charge charge tag. But if you play him and then purify him, you wouldn't get charged anyway. You, you couldn't play him in the same turn anyway. So I think yeah. So it is kind of the same, except two attack, two health or less. Um, I'm looking forward to making a bunch of. Uh, new stuff. Like, I'll probably delete a good chunk of decks. I think it's time to retire. Yog time, baby. Um, we've got babbling books now and other things, so... And Firelands Portals. You have to change anyway, so we'll retire you and you'll lose your slot up here. I wish you could move them around. Like, yeah, but... Hey, man, we got 18 deck slots. At least that's, at least that's something. Okay, I've been Shadow Slayer X. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can uh, tip to the computer restoration, creation, re, re, whatever fun. I just need new headphones and new mic, all that crap. Um, yeah. So, I think that's it. That's all, and we'll see you next time. Peace.